have we got on line three? It's, uh, no, I just talked to an atheist. I'm going with, uh, uh, Jeff in Utah has been waiting a long time. How are you, Jeff? Y yes, I'm doing well. And, and this is Russell and Phil, correct? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Have we ever talked no, before? I well, no, uh, but I think two or three weeks ago, I talked to Matt and uh -huh. John, and I don't know how to pronounce John's last name. Iacoletti. 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 With... Yikes, that's a doozy. <laughs> well, and and I, it sounds narcissistic, but, you know, I've got YouTube here, and I watched the, the call with Matt and I many, many times. Uh -huh. and I, I didn't me. watch the call, so maybe you can tell me oh. how it ended. Oh, well, okay, so I, I'm a Latter-day Saint, uh, and I believe in, in Jesus Christ, and I believe in the Bible and in the Book of Mormon, yeah. and also in the Doctrine and Covenants and the Pearl of Great Price. And, and I was talking with Matt, uh, and he mentioned, uh, well, <laughs> let me put it this way, we... I spent too much time attempting to defend Joseph Smith, uh. and, and and that's not that's not why I'm a Latter Day Saint or, or more Mormon is kind of a a, a pejorative term, I, and I mentioned that last time. and And I will say that Matt was very sharp; he knew quite a bit. But he can. Yeah. What, <laughs> what What's difficult for me is is I've only been a, a Latter-day Saint for a little over a year. Oh, what so were I, you before? I'm probably. Well, I was uh, a Baptist for a while. And, okay. So you, you it, went from one set of beliefs about God to another one? Well, yes. Okay. But, but, but um, what happened is, uh, you know, my parents divorced, and my dad went to a, one church, and my mom just didn't go, and... And um, I was with my uh, dad and my stepmom, and my stepmom went to a different church. And, you know, so I, and I can't even remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure uh, she was Baptist. Some, some kind, and I know okay. they have different, well, uh, all kinds yeah, of we've, different Well, we've got 20 minutes left in the show. I don't need your whole life story. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm not trying to and be I, rude. I have a, <laughs> Well, and I have a tendency to ramble. I even recommended that Matt see The Rock last time I talked to him. I mean, the, we talked to with, Rock uh, a while. The one with... Uh, uh, Nicholas Cage and Sean Connery. Yeah. I, I uh, mentioned it why? as an example. I, I used it as an example. <laughs> okay. Well, well, anyway, I... I Forget Mormonism for a moment. I, I think that Christianity is valid as a belief system. And, and, why? And that was... Uh, well, when I talked to Matt, we focused too much on Joseph Smith, and, okay. and really, Joseph Smith is no one. All well, right, fine. Clean slate. Savior. You believe that the Christian God exists because? Oh, well, I pray. Uh huh. And, and I'm I'm assuming, and I think it's a healthy assumption that neither of you pray. Uh, but I generally pray, know, yeah. Then, <laughs> well, yeah. It, when I pray, and I pray daily, and when I do, I feel the comfort of the Holy Ghost, and I feel the love of my Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father. He's, he's okay. not just mine, He's yours as well. He's the Father of our right. spirits, and... I'm sensing some incredulity. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm that incredulous. It's nothing that I haven't heard before. So I believe that you have been taught that when you say some words, uh, the all-powerful creator of the universe is listening to you uh, and cares deeply about your life. And I believe you when you say that when you say these words, you feel the emotional impact of that belief and it makes you feel good that somebody is paying oh, attention oh, to yes. you out there. But oh, I don't it, actually believe that any uh, that there is a cosmic person listening to you. I well, think it's just have, your your background beliefs influencing the uh -huh. way you feel. Well, now have you tried to pray? Have you reached out? I 
sure. You know, that, the that's saying, why I say not generally. Him. I mean, I've been an atheist all my life, but I've tried experimental mm -hmm. prayer, and, uh, I, and nothing really happened. And I was raised as a uh, a Baptist Christian, a Southern Baptist Christian, uh, Christian for. Um, all of my young life and young adult life, and I went into even into college still um, as a believer on that side. And uh, uh -huh. we prayed. Oh, there were so many services that we <laughs> went to. But, um, oh, services, yeah, prayers. I, I'm sure like, you counted it it's up. Just, it's just uh, it's been a long time. But what comes to my mind now, which is the same question I kind of asked myself when um, I guess uh, I mentioned it earlier when. I got to school at a university and seeing so many other people that believed in completely different belief systems than mine, but they believed them just as strongly as I believed in the one I had, the one I was introduced and brought up to believe my entire time. And they felt just as strongly uh, that theirs was true and that uh, whether they were Hindu, the ones that uh, were Muslim, uh, others that were, it's, it's some, I think, I guess it was Native American, or I, I'm not sure if there's, I'm sure there's a word there that I'm probably forgetting <laughs> on that side, but um, they believed it just as fervently. And so I couldn't justify my belief, even though I felt that this was real. I was, um, like I said, taught this all throughout my childhood. I felt the spirit when I was in church. Wow, these earbuds are terrible. Uh, <laughs> um, I felt the spirit I, I when I was in church. Well. Um, you know, when, when songs were being played, I would be there, I would be up, I'd be clapping, you know, there were a lot of uh, noise-making material, so tambourines and blocks and everything, especially in the free yeah. church that I was a part of, and you, were ju you felt uh, that portion, and, and that's, that's what I thought, it, it was real for me, it was really, like, I couldn't deny it, I felt good after it, I wanted more of it, um, which I loved, like, the longer services that we had that were drone on for about five, six, seven hours, uh, just oh, depending goodness. on... Yeah, it was just a pain, but it was, it, it was just a good, like, it was a good feeling. And I don't doubt that those feelings that I felt, like, I recognize them now that they were real by the same token. That was what I was brought up to believe was correct. This is what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to be in the spirit. You're supposed to, you know, give yourself up to the Lord and, you know, catch the Holy Spirit. Um, and that's. That's yeah. what I. That's what I grew up. But then going to a different service when I was in uh, university and seeing the completely different uh, portions that they uh, traditions that they adhere to. Service? Uh, no, this one uh, was a. Uh, this was a. a Hin uh, is it Hindi or Hindu uh, service that I went and I was able to not participate in but watch uh, from the back uh -huh. inside. I had a lot of friends. I was in engineering. Uh, so it was a very wide array of different belief systems there, and I befriended some, some of my coworkers, uh, classmates, and so I was curious and um, wanted to know more about, um, you know, their culture, and I just went just to watch and see what happens, and, you know, I was in awe because it was so different than anything that I had ever been exposed to, and here they were believing it, you know, just as strong as they were, you know, participating with all of their gusto, and I was sitting there in the back like, wow, they're just like I was, and just like, you know, my family was, it's, it's the same as we had, just a completely different belief system. And so that's what started my yeah. initial questioning about my Christianity and why I held it so dear and so true when they held theirs the same, and we were completely different. Like, uh, it was so much difference uh, that was there, but it was an awesome-looking service, though. It was cool. Well, and I think that's what drew me to Mormonism, uh, it's a it was a it's a restoration. Uh, it's the belief that uh, Jesus Christ continues to live. That he visited Joseph Smith. and see it's so difficult not to mention Joseph Smith. But <laughs> I we know believe because so much that, of the religion is based on these revelations that this one guy got. And I mean, you, you I'm sure you understand. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but uh, I'm oh, sure no. you have you it's have a show. sense of how uh, uh, unlikely the story, or or how unconvincing the story of Joseph Smith is to a lot of people who aren't approaching it from uh, a faith position. 
Well, and you have to have faith. And, and that well, was yeah, and that's the problem. I yeah. was just talking to another caller yeah. a few minutes ago where I was talking about this notion of, of faith that uh, that there's this assumption that it's a good idea to uh, lacking a good reason to believe something, just believe well, really hard, but I and then it will be reasons. true. What? But I do have good reasons, Russell. I, okay, but you it, haven't it, it, really it, presented any. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I even talk, when I talked with Matt, I mentioned that I read the Book of Mormon. I even right. went to the South Park show. Yeah. Or, or Well, it's not the South Park show, but it's the, <laughs> the uh, Broadway the, show. The musical? The South Park Boys. The, are you yes. talking about the Broadway musical or the South Park it, episode? Yes. With it? It, it, yeah. It, it's well, a great I've show, right? Oh, it, it, it was... It, <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever laughed so hard in my life. In fact, yeah. when my wife and I were out in the car after watching the show, my face hurt. And I thought, why is my right. face hurt? And because we were laughing so hysterically. But, but I mean, I'll, but I'll was, tell you something that I took away from the Book of Mormon uh, musical, which okay. you know, I'm going to try not to spoil it because if people haven't seen it, they should. But... Uh, there's this part at the end where these kids who have been very earnest believers in Mormonism have sort of accidentally developed their own weird offshoot of Mormonism, right? Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah. And, and then, uh, Elder, uh, is it which one is Cunningham? The, no, is the other way. I, I mean, you know, you know, oh. the the really earnest kid. I think it's Elder Price, right? Um, sorry, yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at you. I'm gonna say, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't help with this. But he, he says something like, you know, it doesn't matter what we believe or, you know, whether God is real or not. It just matters that we believe something that makes us happy, which in a way is a kind of a positive, inspiring message probably to some people. But, but also to me, it kind of highlights how... A lot of people don't really care if they're believing what is true or not. They just care about the way that belief makes them feel. And I think that there's a parallel between the real Mormonism, and I'm making air quotes for people who are listening to the audio, yeah. and, and the variant of Mormonism that Elder Cunningham comes up with. Uh, like, I, I think they're kind of coming from the same place. They're both kind of silly stories that are hard to swallow, but then they make all the people who believe them feel like they've discovered something important and personal to them. So in your mind, Joseph Smith, like Elder Cunningham, was using his imagination. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, and that's what this conversation is going to be a lot more I'm, fun for people to listen to if they have seen the show. But uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and when I talked to Matt, he 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 kind of ripped me a new one, frankly, uh, uh, concerning faith. Oh, that's so unlike uh, that. That that, <laughs> that that faith was unreliable, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I agree with that. that. True faith. Well, and I argued that true faith is necessary, and he said, well. I, I, can't, I don't want to put words I, in his mouth. I don't really. recognize true faith as a concept that has any meaning. Yeah, well, that's what he said. And okay. I guess I've been struggling <laughs> with that. And, well, and, uh, all I, right, I've, you know, I, yeah, so, I, I guess my point was, is, is I, 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 I fixated too much on Joseph Smith and on the Book of Mormon, and I did not focus on Jesus Christ. Uh, it wouldn't have made any difference. I can tell you that right well, now. Like, uh, well, you know, I, you it's the same Jesus. thing I was calling the la I uh -huh. was telling the last caller when he was frustrated that he couldn't seem to communicate his atheism properly to a believer. I'll tell you the same uh -huh. thing that that you that I told him, which is basically from the other side, uh, you're going to be disappointed a lot if you think that there's some special thing that you can say to people that will make them suddenly see the light. I know that Mormonism in particular is full of stories of people who are skeptical, and then you say just the right thing to them, and suddenly they're like, aha, it's all so clear now. But that doesn't we really happen in real testimony. life all that much. So Yes, what we... That's what we call it, bearing testimony. And, ah, and, okay. 
as a convert, I, I look for opportunities to share my testimony. And you're right. Sometimes your words do fall on deaf ears. Right. And I, I think maybe people just, they're not, they're not tuned into the right station, so to speak. <laughs> they're unable to, to well, feel the spirit like I am. I mean, maybe, but it's also possible that you are basing a bunch of claims on things that aren't really true, and they're not, uh, they're just not buying it. <laughs> well, well, now, have either of you gentlemen read I've, the Book of Mormon? It, uh, I've, <laughs> I've read some of it, uh, but I'm not going to, I think we've book. had, you know, now that, uh, you've had a couple of calls. Uh, I'd say try again later. <laughs> so, uh, and maybe okay. we'll go deeper into the Book of Mormon next time. Okay. Well. Okay. Right. I'll I'll pray for you. Okay. We'll we'll let you know if it works. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>